Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing super today. What we're gonna do in this lesson is learn some more awesome triads, but what we're gonna do is take it up a level and we're gonna do some minor triads. I know a lot of people will teach on major triads, but minor triads are super important as well. What this is gonna do is show you how to play up and down the fretboard. So I've got this backing track I created that is over just some simple chords, but we're gonna elaborate on those chords and move them all over. It's gonna show you guys some new avenues, new inspirations, just new ways to play this progression. You guys will be able to download it in my Patreon. I promise this is something that you guys should really start incorporating in your playing and just free you out of normal boxes. And also what I'm gonna do is show you how to play these triads and then show you how to interweave the scales in between them. So essentially we are connecting triads and scales at the same time. Let's get started on this and have fun. My name is Shane, here we go. Okay, so this whole exercise is in the B in the key of A minor. A minor is easy, but it's a one, four, five progression. So it's gonna be these simple chords you probably have played in the past. So we've got A minor. And then you've got D minor. And then you've got E minor. But what we're gonna do is take this up a level. So the first level I think that's important for triads is gonna be this cool one finger trick that I've showed many times before in the past, but I think people miss it a lot. So we got A right here on this note. It's gonna be on the fifth fret on the high E string. So what we're gonna do is put our fingers right here. So this is the same as this, except we're just playing these three notes. So the three notes here is gonna be A, C, and E. So what we can do with that is we can slide it up. So that's gonna be over the A minor. And then we come up here to the D minor and we've got it right here, so this is our D note. And then here's our E minor right here. And then go back here to the A minor. But what we can do is take it up another level by playing this A minor pentatonic box right here with it. So the A minor pentatonic box is right here. The first position, right? So if we take this finger right here and we play So all I'm doing is I'm just playing the chord and then I'm outlining it. So. So that's over the A minor. So then if we go up here to the D minor, we can do the same thing. And then we get to the E minor. Something like that. Here's a little example of that. Okay, so you can download all my PDF documents, the backing tracks, everything in my Patreon down below. Please check it out. It helps support the channel and I really appreciate it. Okay, so then once you get that done, then we can go to another level of A minor triad. So that's the another level I think that's important is gonna be uh, right here. So this starts here on the 10th fret, or I'm sorry, on the 12th fret. This one might be a little bit harder, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. The root is actually right here on this note. This is gonna be on the 14th fret on the G string. So we're gonna play these three. So that's the same as this. A minor. And then you can go up this way if you want, but I typically will go back this way for the next chords. So the next chord would be D minor. So it's gonna be right here because this is our D note. And then just go up to the, the E minor, the five. And then we go back here to the A minor. OK, 
Okay, so another level you could do, um, fingerings are gonna get a little bit more complicated, but that's why I'm going up in levels, but I think you guys can get it. So we're gonna come down here. Same exact thing. So what this is, is an A minor, but the root is now on the B string because this is your A note. This is why it's really important to start learning the fretboard. I can't stress it enough. So you got A right here. So this is your A minor. You could also play it like this. But I find it's easier to play it like this. Because then you can do this little cool thing where you can go. So what I'm doing is I'm muting out this string here, so. And then you can go. Because this is all like third, second and third position pentatonic scale. A minor, and then we're gonna go up here. This is gonna be on your D minor. Because here's your D note. And then go up here to your E minor. I know it's a little bit getting up on the fretboard, so you can come down here and play it. So you'd play D minor here, and then E minor here. It's just lower on the register going that way. Remember, you got two octaves, so use them. Past the 12th fret, you got your second octave, so it's always great to use all those. Okay, so the last level I want to show you is going to start right here. This is a full chord. This is A minor also. But a lot of times I won't even play this note. This note right here, this would be C. I just mute it out. Um, you can play it, but a lot of times, like I said, I don't. So I'm muting out this string right here. This is the D note or D string. And then I like to come up here because it's easier, and this would be for D minor. And then you guessed it, go up here, walk it up to E minor. So here's a little example of me starting to incorporate all these different ones together and then showing some lead examples that you can play. So as you can see, we can do a lot of cool things with these triads. We can move them in and out of different parts of the neck. We can start playing some pentatonic scale fragment pieces together. It's really a cool thing to do. All right, I hope this is very helpful for you guys, and I hope you get some cool inspiration out of it. These minor triads are really awesome. They're going to give you guys a whole new launch pad and just start elevating your playing. You guys have a super day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.